it's very clear based on <clears throat> comments made by Israeli politicians, based on a lot of clear evidence you can see in videos that they're bombing indiscriminately. Um, they are doing execution style killings. Uh, we saw pictures that came out on multiple different occasions of people stripped or either being put in jumpsuits, mm -hmm. blindfolded, treated as, as subhuman. The only real historical comparison you can make to our the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy to say this, but it's also, I think, necessary. I mean, this is this is the closest thing we have to like a Holocaust that's happening now, mm -hmm. that's happening live mm -hmm. on like high definition, like that you can go and see happening. Like you can go today, yeah. you can go on you can Twitter, go you can go on Google <clears throat> and find out, find videos from today of sniper fire, of drone bomb in the middle of Rafah or Deir al balah You can go every single day and find a different one. I, for context, my family's from Gaza. My father who, uh, grew up in the Shuja'iya refugee camp, which has been bombed to smithereens. There's a group chat I have with my, with my family in Gaza, of which 20 plus have now passed, um, of just like daily videos and, and, and evidence and proof like happening live in, in front of us. I, I asked two things. One, like how can the senator still not call for a ceasefire, which I consider honestly the absolute minimum at this point, yes, yes. Um, given that, you know, so much killing is going on. It, it, it makes me wonder, like, is there a number? You know, like, what's, what's the numbers? So 30,000 dead apparently isn't enough. Mm -hmm. 100,000 plus dead uh, or, or potentially missing under the rubble or uh, kidnapped, um, taken hostage by the Israeli army, that's not enough. What is enough? What is enough for like for the senators to stop using the, the, the excuse of no, but, but we gotta fight Hamas. But, and for you as staffers, like I assume, you know, you have a conscience and you have, you know, some, some dedicating your life to, to this career and, and wanting to serve people like Palestinians are people too mm -hmm. very proud Palestinian um, I plan to stay here for the foreseeable future but also part of what, the reason for that is I can't go back home mm -hmm. <laughs> because my land is Gaza and I can't go back neither can any of my family that is outside of it and the ones in it are dying every day